In the nearly 160 years since our founding, the Lord has blessed us with gifted members who love Jesus Christ and work in the church, minister in our neighborhood, and touch the world with His love. We began with the Little White Church on Fremont Boulevard, then continued in ministry as we moved to Central Avenue to our current sanctuary campus. Each week, we have 750 visits by church members who come here for prayer, Bible study, and worship, and 2,000 visits by community members who come to join in the ministries we've got going. It's both exhausting and exhilarating to see what God is doing here. We've been on an exciting journey of promise. Five years ago, the Lord gave our elders five vital promises for the future of our church. First, he promised that we would become a vital, multi-generational church, a church for all generations. Where else in society do you have a privilege of gathering together in an interactive friendship that's focused on loving God and serving Him? We see young and old gathering together for discipleship, support, mentoring, worship, and bringing renewed joy. Things like women gathering together, our men's ministries, mops, children. It's exciting to watch. Secondly, God promised we would become a vital, multicultural church. Christ compels us to reach out to our diverse community, and we're working at building bridges of understanding with, to the multiple nations of the world who've become our neighbors and friends. We've begun this by forming strategic partnerships with other vibrant ministries, like our Latino Harvest Ministries, Korean, Tongan, Chinese Basketball Outreach, Line Dance, and Saturday Night United for Fun and Fellowship. Third, God promised we would experience excellent, invigorating worship. It's been thrilling to see the excellence in our traditional worship services with a multi-generational choir and orchestra. And we've stretched our boundaries to include worship styles that would touch our kids, youth, and families. Our contemporary team has developed skills and style that pulse and energy. I think the Lord's invigorated by our worship in all styles. Fourth, our Lord promised we would experience joyful, connecting fellowship. Along the way, we want to connect people with one another to create a family-like community where we can all grow in Jesus Christ. Through growth groups, men's ministries, kindred spirits, and community events, we throw our doors wide open. Through annual dinners, potlucks, funeral receptions, patio gatherings, men's ministries, Tai Chi, and our youth ministries and young life have become a fun and safe place for kids to find their identity and ground their faith in Jesus Christ. It's great to be connected in fellowship. Fifth, the Lord has promised we would express sacrificial commitment and service. We excel in outreach to the community and have worked to be a campus that meets people's physical, spiritual, and social needs and draw them closer to the cross of Jesus Christ. We serve the neighborhood and community. Things like the tutoring club, friends of disabilities, standing up for a friend who needs help, our outreach to Boy Scouts, basketball that touches the needs of the community. All of us are on this journey of promise. Think about it this way. You are the fulfillment of God's promise as our church lives and grows into the generations for the future. Our Lord Jesus Christ wants to bless us and wants to make us a blessing to others. Join with us and take this journey together. Companions on the way, making a difference in this world and leaving a legacy that lasts. Finally, we want to say thank you. Thanks for your support. 
Thank you for letting us use the facility. We are very grateful to uh, Centerville Presbyterian Church. I love you guys. I'm grateful. You're an awesome congregation. I love you so much. We're very happy to be here. We're very glad to work for the Lord and to do what He has called us to do. Thanks for making this journey of promise part of God's blessing.